All right, here we go. This is the upper class twit of the year. Upper class twit of the year, uh, that's just a name to keep going with the Monty Python theme. We're actually gonna do the CrossFit workout, Linda. Now, in, in the normal workout, uh, this one was nicknamed the three bars of death. This is our body weight version, so you don't have to worry about the three bars of death. This is all just body weight good stuff. So let's get into what we're gonna be doing here. Now, this workout is for time, so it will be the total time it takes to complete the workout. How the rep scheme works is 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, right down to two reps, you're done. We have three movements, so we're gonna work out with alternating RDLs, we're gonna work with hand release push-ups, and we're gonna work with air squats. So what's really unique about this is basically you're gonna do 100 reps of each, but we break them up, and they are on a, um, they are on a descending rep count. So we would start that out with 20 RDLs. So with our body weight RDLs, right, that's a soft knee, bending forward, we're here looking ahead, and we are staying balanced and we are working our way through 20 reps, okay? Once we're done our 20 RDLs, we would immediately get down on the ground and we're gonna work our way into 20 hand release push-ups. So the hand release push-ups, right, we're here, hands are under the shoulders, chest comes to ground, hands come off the ground, and we push those out. Now, very important, we keep a tight core. We know your chest is gonna get to wrap ground every rep because the hands have to come off the ground at the bottom. That way I know you're getting full range of motion. The other part of that push-up, right, when we're down there, and those elbows are close to body, right, hands come off, we've gotta to go to full walkout as well, right? We're not just shorting them, right? We're not here, right, and just shorting them. We've gotta to get to full lockout. That's a full range of motion rep. Now, if we don't have our strict push-ups, those knees can stay on the ground. We're here, hands come off. Same thing, full lockout. Those elbows have to lock at the top of that rep. That way we're getting our full range of motion, full strength through that, that uh, rep. Okay, after that, those 20, you would stand up and you would go into 20 air squats. So with our air squats, we're here, right? Full depth, every rep, tall chest, standing that up. So here, my feet are hip width apart, just slightly wider, taller you are, maybe your feet have to be a little wider. So there's room for you to get into that full air squat, okay? And when we're going down, those knees track out over the feet, all right? Tall chest, standing that up as well. We're initiating with the hips, right? I like to think about sending the hips back first. So we send those hips back first, full depth, neutral spine, so we're maintaining that lumbar curve at the back. That's your wrap. And full extension means opening up those hips fully at the top. That's how we build that strength through that full range of motion. So three movements, 20 of each. Once you're done, then you'll go 18 of each. So the first rounds might feel a little long, especially in those push-ups, but once you get under 10, that's where you really want to start trying to push to go unbroken um, and push your pace. I wouldn't try to go fast to start, but think about how you can go a little quicker near the end. So good luck with that. Keep a good steady pace, full range of motion on those reps, okay? Um, I know it's easier, it's faster if we don't, but we get much more strength development stronger through the full range of motion through those joints. So push the plate, push the pace with upper class twit of the year.